Are you ready to see this saga go back together? Let's do it! Yeah. The beauty of this install is that it's going to have to be pulled up in a couple months, but that's okay. Hey, it only is going to go together with one Allen wrench. And so that's why I'm going to set it up again for the owner to use it before this house gets sold. So I'm just going to go ahead and put back the piece of carpet pad and the piece of carpet that was in this one little area from before. And that's going to protect this floor. This floor was just newly sealed and it's been dry for over 72 hours. And I could probably put this on the floor without it, without worrying about it. It's going to mark up the floor. But since I have this carpet, I'm going to go ahead and put it down just to protect it. And this will easily be pulled up when the house gets sold. Okay. So, might as well protect it, right? You'll see this is going to go up nice and easy, nice and easy with one Allen wrench. Stick around and I'll show you how it's done. Now I initially said I think this could go in in less than an hour. We're going to kind of keep track of this. Hey, where's my partner in crime on this? Who's going to help me with this? I am. Oh, the owner is going to help me. And see, she's just a girl, so you got to know, hey, if she can help with this, then, then you can do it too. And you know what? You're going to be the one to pull this all apart. So you're going you're gonna to have to remember how we put it back together. And if you ever forget, guess what you're going to do? You're going to watch this video again, huh? Watch the video, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the first thing obviously we got to do is we got to bring it all back in. We've got it in a storage just right outside in the yard and we'll bring in the first piece. And the first piece is the last piece we stored in there. So it's just going to all go back together the way we, we took it out there. And that's just how we're going to do it. Okay. Careful not to hit the door. Okay, you're just going to go over. Uh, yeah. That way, yeah. Where's the foot? Keep going that way. You go this way? Yeah, just a little. Oh, that's right. We've got the carpet marks. Remember? So yes. we're we're almost. It's about like right there. There. Here. Let's go right there. We'll, we'll lower it down. Okay, I got it. You can let go. Okay, that's. That's about where it was before we allowed, you know, a foot and a half or so. That way you could walk around this. But if you wanted that pushed up next to the wall, it just depends because there's a power, there's going to be a power cord right there. And it's going to swing around and plug in into there. So you'd have to, you'd have to hook this side up and then slide it over, plug it in all the way for one go. But she likes to unplug it each time. That way the power is off the entire time. You know, it's not even keyed, it's not even powered up the little monitor inside. Okay, so for the time being, that's where we're gonna, we're gonna leave it. And the, and the thought was that she might want this situated the other way. We're gonna bring in the other panels because this is where the cord was and I wasn't sure if there was enough room. So we're gonna bring, we're gonna go ahead and bring a panel in here, set it over here, see if the cord's gonna reach, right? And I, I'm not sure if it's going to because it's going to come out from there, across, over, and it has to plug in here because you have to have a dedicated circuit to hook this up. It requires, uh, well, I, what I saw on the panel was a 20 amp, 120 volt circuit, that's a 20 amp circuit, dedicated circuit. They had to run it from the electrical panel over to here. And what I would have done, if it was me, had I thought, looked at the room, thought, okay, I like it over here, but I might want it over there in that corner, let's say. That way you could flip it if you got tired of one location or the other. I would have, I would have possibly put this uh, dedicated circuit over here. Then I, it, it could have been left this direction or it could have been flipped around and the cord would still have been enough 
to plug over here, whichever way you did it. So you might want to think about the location in your room and the, op the, the options that you might have before you install the dedicated circuit. Okay? So we're going to bring in this next panel. And that, was, that happened to be the last panel we took out, remember? Right. This one here that had the light on it. Okay, so that's the next one we're bringing in.